welcome back. So in the last three video series, we took a look at how we can use this infrared sensor in order to enable human presence and motion detection. So in this last part of the technical video series, I want to share with you the best practices of lens integration guideline in order to further enhance the performance in your end application. As it was mentioned before in the first part of the video series, the infrared sensor STHS-34PF80 can reach up to 4 meter of detection with 80 degree field of view without any lens in the far infrared spectrum of 5.5 to 20 micrometer in wavelength. While this performance can be suitable for many applications, you can consider additional optical components to enhance further your performance requirements. When choosing cover material or optical component for use with STHS-34PF80, you need to consider several factors. First, since the infrared sensor is operating in the far infrared spectrum, many typical hard plastics such as acrylic and cover glass material are not transmissive in the far infrared spectrum. You need to consider to use material which have high transmissivity around 8 to 14 micrometer in wavelength, such as high density polyethylene, silicon, or calcogenide glass. Next, you need to define the application requirements such as area of coverage, distance and field of view detection, mechanical assembly constraints, mounting heights, mounting orientation, and the environment the device will operate in. These information will help narrow down whether a simple cover can be considered or you need to consider additional optical components such as a Fresnel lens design to help enlarge a field of view or increase distance of detection. With the SD-VAL-MKI-231KA, it comes included with the evaluation board along with the lens holder and a compact Fresnel lens called TMOS 63-10 provided by Fresnel Factory. This lens requires only 6.3 mm focal length between the lens to the sensing element of the infrared sensor which you can consider for applications for long distance detection and narrow field of view of 10 degrees. With this evaluation kit, you can begin to understand how applying different kinds of Fresnel lens can help address different distance and angle of detection requirements. Here we have a basic example scenario using the evaluation kit and the TMOS 6310 lens in a long hallway application. When a person enters inside, you can see there's both presence and motion detected. Once a person is stationary, the motion flag is set to zero until the user starts to move again. We can see that the sensor continuously tracks the presence of a person while also being able to track the motion of a person as they move inside. When the person finally leaves the scene, we see that both the presence and motion are eventually set back to zero. Thank you for watching our four part series on our latest infrared sensor based on TMOS technology. For more information, please visit www.sc.com. Thank you.